Oh, that was all in sync. I like that. I like the harmony. It was giving me Destiny's Child. You ready for your next artist? Yeah. There we go. Give it up for Rich Auntie. Hey, y'all. I'm Rich Auntie. Um, I have great news to share. I graduate college next weekend. Yeah. Uh, also, first generation, family from the Caribbean, Trinidadian. And this is a big feat for me, so I really resonated with your poem. So thank you for sharing that. Um, to piggyback off of the last poem, I also wrote something having to do with reproductive rights, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I call this one baby. <laughs> they say you should have one, just one, and maybe your life will have meaning. The miracle of childbirth, and what a useless miracle I am. The miracle of having a baby girl only to remind her of her insignificance as a woman. And I've rejected society's definition of womanhood. A traitor to my nature, I've broken the imaginary clock. The ticking that comes from the mouth telling me that pregnancy is a gift. The ringing of wedding bells, I'm not ready to hear. The alarm that I anticipate as each birthday arrives, a reminder of every year I've wasted my womb. I still feel like a child. Raised by the patriarchy, I'm immature in my mistakes, but burdened with the responsibility of creating a new world. A new world where we are raising our sons to hate us, to hate femininity, to hate everything a woman embodies. It is only then, when he is burdened by the weight of his own emotions, does he explode a ticking time bomb. The patriarchy is creating terrorists in our own homes and raising our daughters to be the objects of that violence, to relate that to likeness. We raise them as tools and coping mechanisms. We raise them as the hostage of society, negotiating the terms of their own desires and safety. And if they fail, it could cost them their lives. As a woman, I am capable of creating life capable of pushing my body to the brink of death, capable enough to go back to work seven weeks later just to be treated as my smallest mistake instead of my greatest accomplishment. And women accept it. We put our lives on the line for the next generation and get no medal of honor. Just glares of resentment from sons who have not learned to heal. What a useless miracle I am. And I refuse to raise a generation of more useless miracles because I'm not ready to raise someone's son, especially a man my age calling someone else mommy, leaving me home to do all the things his mother does. Also, I can be deemed worthy of a ring. How unethical. I am not ready to negotiate with an emotional terrorist about what I deserve, hell, what I am owed. I am not ready to have a baby girl and tell her that she is capable, deserving, and worthy, that life is literally sustained because of us, that she can, tr she can achieve her wildest dreams just for her to fall short because of the color of her skin. I have then set her up for failure, not prepared for the cruelty of our world that I tried to protect her from in her youth. I know because that was me, unprepared for the tribulations I'd face another useless miracle. It doesn't matter if I birth the next doctor who cures cancer because a white man will take credit for it anyways. The joy of childbirth does not matter if our children are destined to suffer. Passing on a legacy doesn't matter when this name isn't even my own. Inheriting this earth is a job they weren't meant to assume. It is my greatest achievements. It is in my greatest achievements when I am reminded of the ticking reminded of what a, a woman's job really is, just another useless fucking miracle. So again, I'm Rich Auntie. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram at 
Rich Auntie Slay. It's Auntie, A-U-N-T-I-E, Slay, as in Slay Queen. Um, but yeah, add me. Let's be friends. Thank you. <laughs>